Moncada, officially the municipality of Moncada, Pangasinan, Bailey na Moncada, Ilocano, Ilit Moncada, Kapampangan, Bailan ning Moncada, is a first-class municipality in the province of Tarlac, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 57,787 people. The economy is primarily based on agriculture with rice, corn, vegetables, root crops, watermelons, mangoes as major products. The fishery sector, once a vibrant source of food and income needs rehabilitation after the onslaught of lahar flows resulting from the Mount Pinatubo eruption. There is a growing retail and service sector in the Poblacion along the National Highway. Light industries are yet to evolve in the municipality to generate much needed employment. Ilocano, Kapampangan and Pangasinan are commonly spoken, with Tagalog and English as official languages used for secondary education, business and governance. Moncada is 153 kilometers 95 miles from Manila and is 29 kilometers 18 miles from the provincial capital, Tarlac City. Barangays Moncada is politically subdivided into 37 barangays. History Moncada did not come from the word Muscada, but was copied from a town in Spain, Moncada during the Spanish era. Later on became, Moncada. The original settlers in the area are the Pangasinenses followed by the Ilocanos were migrants from the Ilocos region, who cleared the land and planted a certain type of tobacco known as Muscada. The name of the place was originally derived from the crop grown and later rephrased to Moncada, in honor of a Spanish nobility. In the early 19th century, a revolutionary hero Don Silvino López and his wife Magdalena Espejo López became prime movers of development and progress in the new municipality, along with the Morales, Ovilo, Cuchapan, Atencio, Marzan, Caparis and Sto. Domingo families among others. The Chinese community led by the Lao and Co families likewise contributed significantly to the economic development and welfare of the community in later years. During World War II, the town produced war heroes, Captain Abling of the Philippine Scouts who was killed in action, Macario Peralta who was elected senator and served as defense secretary, and Antonio E. Lopez popularly known as Kamote, who defeated an Aquino Coanco candidate for the post of Tarlac governor in the 1949 election. The Golden Age of Moncada is best remembered during this period, after the war to the late 1960s, when debutantes and guests from Manila and beyond, along with the townspeople would congregate at the town plaza to celebrate various festivals and events. Life then was not much of a struggle and food came in plenty. Local leaders serve at the pleasure of the electorates, who had utmost regard for delicadeza, and opportunities were made available to those who work for it. The struggle against the authoritarian regime realigned the political forces in Tarlac by the early 1980s, with a young maverick of the Lopez Roy political clan by the name of Manny S. D. Lopez, shifting support to the rival Aquino Coanco political clan. In doing so, Moncada is credited as the first municipality in the regime-controlled 1st District of Tarlac, to fight for the restoration of democracy and demand justice for the slain opposition leader Ninoy Aquino. The hope for a new beginning unfortunately was lost to decadent ways of less discerning electorates, who consequently were subjected to the quality of governance they deserve. An exodus of bright minds sought and served ideals in other sectors and foreign lands. Moncada is at the northern part of Paniqui. Demographics in the 2015 census, the population of Moncada, Tarlac, was 57,787 people, with a density of 670 inhabitants per square kilometer or 1,700 inhabitants per square mile. Notable people of Moncada Senator Luis López Morales Senator Macario Peralta Senator Jose J. Roy Governor Antonio Espejo Lopez References External links Philippine Standard Geographic Code 
Philippine Census Information.